again. Today we're going to be talking about top five hermit crab myths. Myth one is that hermit crabs are hermits. This is an extremely common myth about hermit crabs and it couldn't be further from the truth. Despite their name, hermit crabs are extremely social and they need to have other hermit crab friends. If they don't, they'll become depressed and eventually die. Myth number two is that hermit crabs live on the beach. A common misconception is that hermit crabs live along white sandy beaches. In reality, while they may try to find food near the shore, they'll spend most of their time farther inland in the trees where they have lots of places to hide. Unfortunately, a lot of hermit crab owners try to make their crab habitats look beach-like. They provide their hermit crabs with sand and water, but they don't provide them anywhere to hide or climb, and this ends up being really stressful for the hermit crabs and they usually end up dying. It's sad because hermit crabs are excellent climbers and they really thrive when they're able to climb. Another common myth, myth number three, is that hermit crabs carry diseases. This myth started because most pet stores keep their hermit crabs in the same area where they keep their reptiles. Reptiles are prone to carrying bacteria such as salmonella and that's why people think hermit crabs carry it too. Hermit crabs do not carry salmonella, and in fact, they are one of the healthiest and cleanest pets you can own. There are no known diseases that people and hermit crabs can pass to one another, and people that are allergic to other animals, such as cats and dogs, can still own hermit crabs because they're hypoallergenic. Myth 4 is slightly controversial. Hermit crabs should or should not be bathed. Years ago, everyone bathed their hermit crabs. There was no question about it. However, more recently, people have been questioning whether bathing hermit crabs does anything more than cause them unnecessary stress. I personally do not bathe my hermit crabs unless they just molted or I just bought them. Instead, I give my hermit crabs pools that are deep enough for them to fully submerge and bathe themselves if they want to. The main reason I'm against bathing hermit crabs is because it seems unnatural to me. In the wild, they would just bathe themselves the way my crab is doing right here. I've been doing this for many years and my crabs have been doing just fine, so I think it's a good option. Myth 5, which is our last one, is that hermit crabs are throwaway pets. This is the worst myth of all and I blame pet stores for it. Hermit crabs are amazing exotic pets. They can live for over 30 years and they require very specific care. However, the majority of pet stores you walk into will tell you that they're cheap, short-lived animals that are good first pets for children. Hermit crabs are so much more than this. They're not throwaway pets. They are delicate and require special care to live their life to the fullest. And yes, their lives matter just as much as any other animal. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you learned something from it, please be sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!